today on Be Something Wonderful. Assume your new reality and stay there. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. Big video this morning comes from a session yesterday, and she was essentially saying, Tom, I'm consciously assuming that I am in my wish fulfilled. I'm, a con I'm consciously assuming my new reality and new identity. But what concerns me, this is her words, is the, are my invisible assumptions. What I'm unconsciously assuming or subconsciously assuming, how do I know? Well, guys, we're going to talk about this today and more. The first thing I want to say is where your, where your free will, where your control is, is what you consciously assume, what you consciously believe, what you consciously occupy. That's where, that's where your focus and awareness wants to be. Remember, how do you know? How do you know what you're, quote, unconsciously or subconsciously assuming and believing and, 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 and thinking? Well, you're surrounded by it. Look around the 3D conditions. That's the first thing. And the second thing is by the way you feel. Remember, your feelings don't lie. They're your truth. They're not, your, they're not the ultimate truth of who you are, but they're the relative truth of what you're thinking, feeling, believing at this moment. So that's, that's how. So I really want you, remember, you're surrounded by your assumptions, not only outside, but within, by, by how you're feeling. This is what uh, spiritual teachers like Abraham Hicks called the emotional guidance system and things like that. That's what we're talking about. You, by the way you feel, you know what you're thinking, believing, and assuming. So they're really not invisible because your feelings tell you what, what, what those emotions that are... That, that, remember, you, I want to really start with today with this. You're only ever feeling source energy. Right, because that's the only, that's all there is. There's just consciousness and source energy. There's this pure positive energy. There's only one source, one power. But that gets translated. How we, how we translate that, the filters we see through that, through our assumptions and our beliefs, we, we feel a sensation that either feels like love or feels like unlike love. It either feels like that close to that source energy or it doesn't by the way we're, by our assumptions and our, our beliefs and our thoughts. We filter that source energy through what we're thinking, assuming, and believing. So you're, so you're surrounded by your assumptions, but you're surrounded by source energy. And, those and that source energy is being filtered through your assumptions. So how do you know? Look around. How do you really know? by how you feel. So the only, you only ever feel what you are thinking, assuming, and believing. Remember, you are source energy. You are pure positive love and light. That's all you are. That's all there is. So that's all you're ever really feeling. The truth of your, the real emotions are that love and light. But the, tr but the manifestation of source, of, of, or the experience of that source, many times feels like something that translates into feelings and emotions that feel unlike love. When they're, when they're feeling, when you're feeling joy, when you're feeling excitement of that source energy, when you're, when you're, when you're feeling that, when you're in love, you're closer to your source, right? So, and when, or closer to experiencing the true nature of source. You are source, so you can't get any closer. You are that, right? And when you are feeling something else that's unlike this love, it means you're consciously or unconsciously. And remember, I just want to say that you're never unconscious. You're consciousness. So you're always conscious of something. So we're really meaning subconscious or below awareness, right? Consciousness is awareness. So subconscious means sub or below, below your awareness. When? At this moment. It doesn't mean it's below your awareness forever. It doesn't mean that you can't get at it. It just means at that moment, it's below your awareness. It's subconscious, right? You are, you are never really unconscious, right? So you're either consciously or unconsciously or subconsciously thinking and assuming, believing something that is not the truth of who you really are, right? Those emotions that you're feeling, those feelings indicate something that's relatively true 
<laughs> what you're thinking, right? Feeling, right? Remember, if you're, if you're wondering whether your thoughts are true or whether your feelings are true, go to your feelings. Those are telling what you're really thinking, what you're really assuming, but they're only relative truth. The truth of who you are is source energy. Do you see that? It's source energy. So let's hit this a little bit more. That's, <laughs> so remember, and I've talked about this in early videos, that's your amazing emotional guidance system, your EGS, telling you to stop touching that hot stove. This really is reminiscent of Abraham Hicks, right? It's telling you not to touch the stove. In other words, it's telling you that not to think like that anymore, not to assume like that anymore, just like we talked about that movie Solaris. I don't, I don't need to think like that anymore, right? Remember, so how do I know what I'm subconsciously assuming and believing? The outer conditions always reflect your inner state. Look there. And your feelings and emotion will always tell you the truth, not the ultimate truth of who you are, not the ultimate divine truth, but the relative truth of what you're believing and assuming right now. It's a relative truth, right? Relative to, to your thoughts and assumptions, what you're believing. The ultimate truth is I am. And that, and that is the ultimate assumption. I am everything. I have everything. I am everything. I am love. That's the ultimate assumption, right? Remember, emotion is source energy in motion. And what we, and then we, the three D emotions of fear or lack or love or anger or frustration or joy or excitement, all of that is a translation of source energy. The ultimate source, the ultimate excitement, the ultimate love, the ultimate peace that you are, right? Your feelings within your body are the manifested interpretation of that one source, of that one love, of that one God consciousness, as filtered through your assumptions and beliefs. Hear this, I'm going to say this one more time. Emotion is source energy in motion. Your feelings within your body are the manifested interpretations of that one source as filtered through your assumptions and beliefs. And when they, feel some, when they feel anything but love, peace, and joy, and excitement, then you are assuming and believing something that's not true of who you really are. That's why we have the emotional guidance system. What a beautiful thing to have. Otherwise, we'd never know. <laughs> what, the, what we're thinking is not our source, right? If you really want to know your mind, this is what Eckhart uh, tell. Uh, says, if you really want to know your mind, the body will always give you a truthful reflection. So looking at the emotion, or rather feel it in your body. So look at the emotion. This is what Eckhart Tolle tells us. Look at the emotion. Look at what you're feeling. If you really want to know your mind, what you're thinking, what you're assuming, what you're believing, the body will always give you a truthful, not the ultimate truth. The ultimate truth is love, is joy. It might be close to that, Right? It might be a translation of that, or it might not be, but it will give you a truthful reflection. So look at the emotion, or rather feel it in your body. Big statement by Eckhart. If there's an apparent conflict between them, the thought or the assumption of belief, remember he says the thought, and I'm saying assumption of belief, the thought will be the lie. The emotion, the manifested filter through your assumption of beliefs, will be the truth, but a relative truth. Do you hear it? So the thought would be, if there's a conflict between what you're thinking and feeling, the feeling will be the, will be the relative truth. The thought will be the, the, the bogus belief or the bogus assumption, right? So not the ultimate truth of who you are, but the relative truth of your state of mind at the time. In other words, who and what you're conscious of being or your self-concept in that moment. Do you hear this? So that's the beautiful thing. Your body will tell you through what you're feeling, right? Through that emotion, right? That's why Eckhart and other spiritual greats talk about being the observer, not identifying with those emotions as who you are and not identifying with those beliefs and assumptions as who you are. There's only I am. That's the ultimate assumption. If there's an apparent conflict between them, between what you're thinking and feeling, the thought, or in other words, the assumption of belief, will be the lie. The emotion, in other words, the manifested filter through your, through your assumptions and beliefs, will be the truth. Not the ultimate truth of who you are, 
but the relative truth of your state of being, a state, a state of mind at the time. In other words, who and what you're conscious of being. This is what Eckhart says. These are both his quotes here. So, Tal says, conflict between surface thoughts and unconscious mental processes is certainly common. But remember, so those surface thoughts, so you're saying that the un, when he says unconscious, he really just means subconscious, not in your awareness at the moment, right? And so what's not in your awareness at the moment could be in conflict to what your surface thoughts are. What's going through your mind right now? Think of these unconscious mental processes as almost like the uh, sponsoring thought or the root assumption or the root thought, right? You are never really unconscious, though. You do, not have, you, you, you do have many thoughts, assumptions, beliefs that can be subconscious below your current awareness. Not, and you're, con not, you're not consciously thinking about them right now, meaning below your awareness at the moment. But here's the thing with those thoughts and assumptions below your awareness. The reason they're below your awareness is you've thought about them so much that, you, <clears throat> that now you're sort of leaving them there and believing that that's reality, right? That's the real, the real thing with that subconscious thoughts. You want to bring them to awareness, observe them, and know that they're just thoughts and assumptions about reality. They're not the truth of reality. Right? But that's what, what happens. They, these subconscious thoughts become what we believe is reality, what we believe is the truth. And they run automatically. Right? So you may not be able to bring your unconscious mind activity into awareness as thoughts. Because this, he was talking, she was talking about struggling to be able to, to, to bring it to awareness. But it will always be reflected in the body as emotion. And, and that you can be aware, but you can be aware of what you're feeling and bring that to awareness because that will be the, because there is a thought assumption behind that feeling for sure, right? Even if it's not a conscious thought or a conscious assumption, right? So that, that feeling that's in your body represented some assumption, some thought that you had that you still have, that you're still holding on to because you're, you, you're still holding on to the feeling. But once you feel it, don't identify it. Don't hold on to it and release it. Now you are releasing those thoughts and assumptions. And you keep doing that, right? That's your emotional guidance system, your awareness, right? This really uh, rings of the Dr. David R. Hawkins teaching, right? Feel it all. Release the emotion. Release the feeling. And that releases hundreds of thoughts and assumptions that are associated with it. So... Like observing your thoughts without identifying with them as reality and who you are. Observe your feelings. In other words, feel your thoughts and assumptions and then let them go. Feel them. Don't avoid them. Right? Feel them. Feel that feeling. But hold on to nothing like A Course in Miracles says. <clears throat> Observe them. Don't identify with them. You can then allow the emotion to be there. This is what Eckhart says. Without being controlled by it. You no longer are the emotion. You are the watcher, the observing presence. This is the, this is the now presence. This is the kingdom or the pearl of great price that Neville got it in scripture talks about. It's that present moment. You become that observing present. You become that awareness, that presence, that God consciousness that you are. All that is un unconscious in you will be brought into the light of consciousness. This is really also the teachings of Lester Levinson. Bring all that subconscious past into the light of awareness. How do you do it? When you, when you say, well, I, I don't know what I'm subconsciously holding, by the way you feel. And when you're not feeling that ultimate joy, that ultimate love, right? That peace. When you're not feeling, when you're feeling things unlike love, then, then feel it. Then <laughs> let it be there. Observe it and then let it go. Then you're letting go of the thoughts and assumptions each time you do that. Do you hear this, right? So your awareness is the pearl of great price. It is the kingdom of God. It, that presence is it. This is what he's talking about. Get in that moment of now. Observe it. And then allow it. But don't identify it with as reality. And then let it go. Always moving back to your ideal. Your assumption of who you want to be now. That's really what we've been talking about all the time. So, in other words, let those thoughts, let those assumptions, beliefs, and emotions go 
as a power that controls you in your life. See it, think it, feel it, observe it, but then let it go. Don't identify with it. Don't run from it. Don't try to suppress it or repress it. Feel it all, but then let it go, right? Let those thoughts assumptions go. You, and this is why Neville Goddard says when he's talking about the Pearl of Great Price, you can't hold on to one thing you now believe in as a power that controls your life and still hope to buy the Pearl of Great Price, right? right? It, it requires you to let go of every, all of those thoughts and feelings that you're identifying with as who you are. Let it all go. Feel them, think them, but then let them go. <coughs> so great is this pearl, so valuable, that it takes everything that you own to buy it. It takes everything that you now believe in other than it to pay for it. And I've talked about this in many videos now. It requires everything you own in terms of thoughts, feelings, and assumptions that are contrary to what you, who you really are, that are contrary to what you really want and desire. Let that all go, right? And so, remember, I just want to say, the pearl of great price, that's source, that's I am, that's that pure positive emotion. That's that unconditional awareness of being. That's your imagination. That's the level of who you really are. Then you have your thoughts and beliefs and assumptions. That's your mental filter that limits or conditions which you see, perceive, and experience as source. That's the filter. You're only ever feeling the excitement of source. You're only ever assuming and believing the, the excitement of source. That's all you can do. But when you, when you condition those beliefs and assumptions into something else, something that's unlike love, then it becomes something else. Then it manifests into these feelings and emotions, right? Your physical experience. So you see it, but you feel it, right? You feel it and you see it. Right? Remember, with, it, with, with those thoughts, beliefs, and emotions, you filter out entire worlds and realities based on what you're thinking, assuming, and believing. That's why you want to persist and continually and frequently move back to the assumption of your ideal, to the assumption of your ideal reality, your new reality. Go to that new reality and stay there. What does that mean? Return to it. Right? Feel whatever you're going to feel. Think whatever you're going to think. Assume whatever you're going to assume. Whatever is coming up, let it come up. Feel it, but don't hold on to it. And then let it go. Don't identify with it. Observe it. Right? Become that observer. Become that awareness that you already are. Right? Hold on to nothing but your desired and imagined end. Right? Assume your new reality and stay there. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful Studio of Higher Consciousness when we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of the channel. Thank you for commenting and sharing and liking the videos. Um, thank you for joining our membership channel. Thank you for joining me yesterday in a very powerful live stream three that we had on the membership channel yesterday morning. Thanks for being there. Also, we have a, a Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors. You can find us there at facebook.com groups slash be something wonderful. Also, um, we have an Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or be something wonderful.com. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. We'll see you soon.